So what's up guys, Vip Gamer here again. Yeah, I kinda like make this video right after I make the how to your jiggle video. Now I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to turtle back. Now now it's easy to turtle back, like it's just pretty easy to turtle back. You just go like wee wee but how to dribble while you're turtle backing. Now that's one way. That's one thing that's gonna be difficult. Now Let's get started. I kind of like feel more confident. Um, I don't really know why. Maybe it's because my friends soon start playing soon. So I feel confident that, hey, yeah. Now, in my last video, Gyrofly controls was activated. I didn't even know until I watched over the video. But I'm going to show you guys right now. A air dribble without Gyrofly controls. So you guys see that it does actually help you. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Then I will start teaching you guys how to turtle back. Okay, dokey. Okay, dokey. We, we, alright. See, I even do it better without Garfly controls. I can't believe it. So, yeah. I just hope that this Gyrofly controls thing just stays off right through. Now, teaching how to turtle back. Teaching how to turtle back. Okay, I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you, okay guys? Look at that. I'm gonna teach you. Now, I just wanna do that so that the ball can stay steady. That helps the ball to stay steady. So, yeah. Alright, now, before you guys can turtle back, you guys have to make sure that you guys are familiar with doing back flips and front flips back flips and front flips with the analog because you're going to need i guess how to make sure that you guys know how to like drive and then like flip and turn because that's going to be really important i don't really know how to do it but i do do it when i when i, when I really need to do it i don't know why so yeah now let's get straight to the point now okay oh thank you oh thank you nos now you have to make sure that the ball is positioned good. Even not, you don't you don't have to be positioned good because the way I'm going to teach you guys how to do it is going to be lit. All right, so guys have to make sure that first you push out the ball, then you just like start to. Okay, just three. All right, look at that. I might I might always leave in the ball. I don't do that when I'm versus in though. I don't know I'm doing it now. But I really don't do that when I'm versus in people, like on multiplayer and stuff like that. Okay, I do a, I do turtle back a lot of times on multiplayer. Okay, I just feel hype. I just feel hype when I'm doing it. I just feel hype. Alright, I flip this bad boy over. Now, you want to make sure that as soon as you touch the ball, you just go like this. Just tap up on the nose. You don't want to hold on on the nose like that. So look at that. A little time I will hold on on the nose. I lost control of the ball. Now you guys gotta remember that one syrups one syrup upside down. Wait. Uh, whoa. I was, that scared me because like as I jump I just hear boom and I wasn't even paying attention to the ball. Now let's see something. So if I turn right, it turns right, right? Alright, let's see something. What if I turn Right. Wait, 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 wait. Why why flip over back? Alright. Now what if I turn right here? It turns left. What? I can't believe. It turns left. And that's because now it's gonna look like hey, it's the wrong it's the wrong way, but actually I just want you guys to look at it. Now this is the car right. This is the car left. You guys so the car right is where this the drift button is on the car left is where the jump button is, right? So when you flip it over, see that? It actually is kind of like reversed. But the controls is reversed. So you guys gotta remember that if you want to turn left, you gotta turn right. If you want to turn right, you gotta learn you gotta turn left. And that's one important thing. That's gonna be hard for you guys to catch on, cause it was pretty hard for me to catch on. So yeah, that's gonna it's that's gonna be hard for you guys to catch on. I can I can I can feel it. But 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 that's why I'm teaching you guys like this. 
once you guys go like this even if if you're turning the wrong way because you guys are doing like this it's gonna still dribble properly so if, if I start turning right or if I start turning left it's gonna still it's gonna still dribble properly now that's all you guys your dribble I'm gonna do it one not your dribble turtle back why am I making so much mistakes turtle back that's all you guys turtle back now I'm gonna do it one more time one more time that's what one more time Turtle back. So, uh, make sure that you get you, you want the ball meet. You're gonna make sure that you get to know the ball. Get you have to make sure that you get to know the ball better. Look at that. Look at that. This is gonna be a goal. And it's a goal. Look at that. Boom. Okay. Look, at that. look at that. Look. Just look at that. Okay. Just look at that. So, you guys gotta make sure that you guys can do that. So that's literally how you turtle back. Now turtle backing is very important because a lot of times when you play multiplayer, they like hit you away and you're like whoa, and then like when you fall, you fall upside down, and then like the boy is like right out the goal, and you have to like speed after it. But because you don't really know the controls of turtle back, you you you, you miss the ball, and, and that looks embarrassing. Cause I feel embarrassed when that happens to me sometimes. I feel that I, I just feel embarrassing. Like, look at that. You see, guys, I can air dribble better without Gary Fly controls. And the reason for that is because I don't make Gary Fly controls help me. So, yeah. I didn't even know that it was activated. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to be doing a tip, tips and tricks video. Or I might just do it right now. As much as this video is like short. I don't even know. So yeah, you guys can do turtle back now. Now, you guys, now there's one thing in turtle back, and is that when you play multiplayer, you have to do it right away. So you see it right there. You gotta do it right away. And there's another thing about turtle back, and the good thing, and the one main reason, I'm making so much mistakes. One thing that you guys have to make sure that you guys can do. Is release release is important in both turtle back and in, in air dribble, guys. Look at this. I'm not going to release. I'm going to try to hit the ball. I'm not going to release. Like look at that. I like was starting to drift. I was starting to drift away, and that happens a lot of time when you don't release. Okay, I'm going to see if I can save this goal. See this goal. Oh wow! I didn't even have to do it. Didn't have to save it. Okay. Right there. Ding! Okay! Okie dokie! Okie dokie dokie! Okie dokie, mommy! Okie dokie, mommy! Alright. Boom. Oh well. What am I doing? Let me go way out here. Boom! Alright, nice. Alright, good. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I set, I, I set straight, that's why. But if you guys can try it for yourself, you guys will realize that it doesn't help when you do that. It, you actually drift away from the ball, and so it's important that you know how to release. But because I'm, I'm like a pro on turtle backing now, so even when I try to show you, I'll have to, have to forcefully do it and not naturally do it. And that's what I'm trying not to do. I'm trying to naturally, naturally fail. <laughs> that's what I'm trying not to. I'm trying to naturally fail, guys. For real, I'm trying to naturally fail. I don't want to forcefully do it. And you guys say it's because I do it. I want to naturally fail it. And that's one thing that's messing me up right now. You guys understand, right? Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um. I will try to make a video on how... Guys, if you guys are a pro on this, or you guys are just watching this for fun, look at that. Release. You see that? I, I would have missed it a while ago if I didn't release. Look at that. Dribble. Boom. Okay. I did that so that you could change the direction. This is one important thing as well. And it's to go like this. Cut. It does change the direction of the ball. Like doing this, the ball goes over to your left. Just to make sure that I'm not leading you guys astray. Oh, well. That's great. Now, doing this, the ball goes over to your left. 
and doing this the ball goes over to your right and this is actually important as well in your dribbling because if the ball is not going to score like just a while ago the ball wouldn't have scored the ball would have went way off target and because i did that the ball almost scored. I just hit on the post like look at that doing that see that oh well i keep on forgetting so yeah thanks guys for watching um i didn't want this to be a long video i just wanted to be like a six minute video but because i was like um just explaining and just showing you guys that you guys can do the same method the methods that i was showing you guys how your dribble you guys can use it and it will and it actually will work not because guy reflect control is on you guys or yeah you guys understand right you guys understand i'm still nervous but i'm like more confident right now i'm like more confident but i'm still nervous like when i when when i reach 20 subscribers in this in this one no in this week if i reach 20 subscribers in this week or even past 10 i'll be like more confident in myself i'm not going to just be playing terrible league still i'm going to be playing like free fire or cool games like that pubg probably single player games i know i love games so i know that this channel will be lit with a lot of cool mobile games. I can even show you guys a few games that you guys can do. You know? So, yeah. Look at that. You see that? I do it better without gyro flight controls. Because gyro flight controls kind of try to stabilize my car. And which I don't see where any gyro flight controls help because it doesn't actually help me. Now, I actually learned how to air dribble by self touching myself. I just try and try and try. And then I learned how to air dribble. I watched thousands of videos and it still didn't work. And I just tried one day and it worked. And I was like, whoa, that's how easy it was. And that's actually what, what the guy, they were actually trying to tell you that. That you're supposed to just put it back and just do what you gotta do. But they weren't going into full details. And most of and most of them wasn't even speaking English to say, okay, I can I, I cannot understand what they're saying. And now this is this video is getting longer, so guys, thanks for watching.